In this video, we're going to talk about how to get your dashboard out of Tableau so you can share it. Maybe you want to copy it and put it into your presentation, or you want to email it to someone, or whatever you really want to do. I'm going to show you how to go about that. So in Tableau Public, it's a little bit different from Tableau Desktop. So we'll do both, uh, depending on which one you're using. Uh, for Tableau Public, it's a little bit more limited because they kind of want to do that on purpose so you buy the full version, but I have a way around that, so don't worry. I have here the dashboard that we built, and I'm not proud of this formatting. So what we're going to do is if you go again into that format button and you go workbook, if you've ever like completely destroyed your formatting, and you're like, I can't show my I can't show my wife this, you know, kind of thing. Just go down here to the bottom, the bottom, the bottom and click on reset to default. And that just puts everything back the way it was. Great. If you're if you want to go back again, just do undo and you can go backwards and forwards as you wish. From here, we can actually get this out of here. If you go into dashboard, sorry, not dashboard. Uh, yes, it is dashboard. What you will notice here is there is no copy or export button. That is on purpose. If I go into worksheet, there is an export. But even if I go to a worksheet, for example, you still can't export. Again, this is because they're limiting your capabilities. From my understanding, I haven't found a way to, re to activate this anyway. But doesn't really matter. And if I go here to file, you see there's no print, there's no print to PDF, because again, they're trying to limit you. The way you can get this out, which is a bit of a cheat, is if you go to your dashboard, if you click on either this button here, which is presentation mode, or if you go window F7 presentation mode, you can go into full screen. Then what I tend to do is on your keyboard, you will have a print screen button. If you're not familiar with that, don't worry, I'll give a little photo of a keyboard so you can see exactly what it is. Sometimes you have to hold shift and then press it, or sometimes you can just press it directly. So I'm just going to press mine directly like so, and that will copy it into your invisible clipboard. If I open up uh, Microsoft Paint, for example, and I click paste up here on the left, oh, hang on, I pressed something on the keyboard. I have, I have just extracted my uh, visualization. So from there, what I can really do is just, you know, ignoring my face, pretend that wasn't there. I can just highlight what I, what I want because I've got dual screens actually. So this is just from my, <laughs> my second monitor, so ignore that. But I've got my presentation here. I can highlight this. I can go crop and that just makes it easier to get just what I need. And from there, I can copy, paste, I can do whatever I want, put in presentations. So that's kind of your workaround. But that's really your only option for uh, Tableau public, except for, if I just get rid of this, going back here, which is saving to Tableau public the, uh, online. But we'll get to that in another video because there is a bit of setup involved. What we're going to do next is we're going to get Tableau desktop. So Tableau desktop, as a reminder, is the, f uh, the full visualization version of Tableau public, right? It's the full thing. So you get full functionality. What I've done is I've opened one up here and I just rebuilt the entire thing. I didn't worry so much about formatting. It's really just to show you um, the differences. If I go here to dashboard, you'll see, oops, hang on, lost my drawing tool. If I go to dashboard, you'll see that there is now a copy image, export image. So if I just click copy, it was the same as like similar to the print screen. If I open up Microsoft Paint and I just press paint, uh, paste, there it is there. So that's the first way to get it out. The second way to get it out is if I go here and I go export images, a little bit more high class. So we go export image and you're going to get this option here and you can choose the type of uh, image type you want. Most of the time we just leave it on PNG because that's kind of like the best one. And let's just call this um, dashboard Oop, no, with no zero dashboard export and go save. Going into my downloads, I can see here the file that was just saved. So this is now a PNG format that I've just exported. So that's your second method. I don't even use this simply because um, I can just use, for example, the snipping tool on you know on Microsoft. Oops. Let's just go new. I can just go like this, copy it out, and I've got it again. So I mean, that, that's another option, or you can use other types of software if you want. So that's your dashboard. Uh, for your worksheets, if you ever wanted to export just one of them, you can go worksheet and go copy. Again, same thing, copy as an image or export 
same as before, except you're only you're doing it for sheets rather than dashboard. So no need to go through that. It's the same thing. The next one is if you go into file, we have two things we can do. If you go down here, you can see print to PDF. I want to click that and I can choose. Actually, no, let's go into dashboard first. So you have to be in the sheet or the dashboard that you want to actually export. So go file, print to PDF. We're going to go uh, active sheet, so just the one we're in. We're going to do A4, and we're going to do landscape. Go OK, and because, you know, landscape. So we're going to go OK. It's going to ask me where I want to save it. Let's go landscape PDF and save. So that's going to open it up, and you can see straight away it's on a PDF. This is probably the quickest method because if you're already going to just print it out, it might as well just go straight to PDF. That's one option. There's also a second thing you can do. Once you have multiple dashboards or multiple sheets and you want to get all of them on a PDF, you can go File, Print to PDF, Entire Workbook. And that will grab everything that you have here. And if I go Landscape, same thing again, go OK. It's going to do the same thing. So we'll go Landscape All, Save. You now have each one included. I don't know what to all oh, right. So this happens when it's too big for the A4 page. So it tries to, you know, just put it on multiple pages. Again, it looks super ugly. So sometimes you do need to adjust it. But I mean, very rarely would I do sheets, I always take my even if it's just one visualization, I'll take it and put it on a dashboard and size it inside um, the dashboard view, which takes me to my next point going into Tableau desktop. If you want it to fit perfectly on a page, going here to size, um, we did fix size and we just did like a custom sizing. That's just for your computer. But once you're ready to put it on an A4 or something like that, to make sure the ratios fit, click on custom here or click this drop down and look for A4 landscape or if you want to print larger, a3 landscape. I tend to not use many of these. Um, most of the time, I'll just customize it because, for example, when you're working in a company, um, it, the dashboards most likely will not get printed. They will instead get published to a cloud a platform called Tableau Online. And what I tend to do is based on the size of the monitors or the laptops that most people in the company generally use, I use that ratio and I test that, make sure that they have a good viewing experience. That way they don't have to scroll around so much. But for us, we're going to go A4 landscape and that will just give a better ratio and you know one less thing to worry about. So if I go file, print to PDF, uh, active sheet, A4 landscape, okay. Yeah, let's just save my copy and there we have it. Close this. The last option is if I go print, and this will just print straight to your computer. I'm not going to go into the settings of the printer because it's kind of pointless. Um, everyone's going to be using a different printer and every printer setting is completely different. What I would actually recommend is don't even use this, just in my opinion, because um, from here it's hard to tell what it's going to look like after it prints. So you end up printing one going, oh, it's not quite what I wanted. And you have to print it again. It's a waste of paper. You know, don't waste it. Um, don't waste paper. Just get it right the first time. So what I actually recommend is print it to PDF because when you print it to PDF, you're going to see what it looks like on paper anyway. Oh, hang on. That's the PNG. Let's open the PDF. So you're going to see exactly how it looks like. If you feel, uh, well, it's not really filling it out completely, well, adjust that in your dashboard. So if I go here, instead of A4 landscape, I'm going to give it a little bit more width. So let's say 1250. So give it a little bit more. I'll actually adjust that too because it's killing me. We'll go File, Print to PDF. So same thing, A4 landscape, OK. We'll just replace the old one and let's see how that looks. You can see it's getting closer and closer. And once you're happy with it and you're like, OK, this is good, then print the PDF. At least then, yeah, you're not wasting paper. That is it. So those are the ways you can get it out of both Tableau Public, which is kind of our cheat print screen way. And then we also have Tableau Desktop, which gives you all the options kind of available straight away. Hope you enjoyed and see you at the next video. Thanks for watching the video. If you want to learn the entire Tableau 
platform, consider enrolling into my course. It's one of the highest ranking courses on Udemy. And enrolling today, you'll be joining the almost 200,000 students that have enjoyed my courses over the years. Thanks again for watching and hope to see you in the course.